Hello and welcome! I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 103 of Let's Play the Prince and the Thane mod for Crusader Kings 2. Where we left off last, we did a lot of conversion requests, and culture is still going to be a problem, but I had a few people ask about how culture conversion is going and religious conversion. So let's take a peek at that. Naturally, all of England and, and Wales and Scotland and Ireland and all that is the correct, correct religion. This whole thing has been very stable. This, this border seems to be impenetrable. Um, but we are spreading the Catholic faith to a lot of the land now that we've converted. Orthodox is starting to recede in this area. Catholic spreads between. And I think it's going to probably take another 50 years or so, but we will get all of this converted once we wrap up. We just need a little bit more time to do all these other holy wars and collect it all underneath us. As far as culture goes, we've got a smattering of all kinds of stuff. Looks like most of England is getting close to embracing the English faith. We still have a lot of Saxon, and unfortunately I've got a Welsh king right now ruling over Wales. I may have actually put a Welshman there on, perp on accident, <laughs> so I might have to just revoke his title, which shouldn't be too hard considering I can fabricate his treason and then just put an Englishman on the throne. Let's disband these since they're too big. In fact, let's go through and disband some of these other armies as well. I really don't need all of the men in the realm raised. If you're using keyboard shortcuts, keep always keep in mind you can use Shift X, also known as Capital X, to, to disband all selected units. That's kind of handy. It's the same thing as the button there, I think. So it's not giving you any access to something that you wouldn't have, but it's still a useful key binding. And we also don't need any of that half of the men. Or this part. We only have one little tiny war. It's not even my war. It was Enigma Toad's war. But um, congratulations, Enigma Toad. You are now a ruler of all kinds of things. And so what we need to do next is we need to get our prestige and piety up as quickly as possible because I'm going to destroy the Byzantine Empire. Before I can do that, I'm going to need to have the plus 30 opinion bonus from having lots of prestige. Right now we only have plus 2. It takes, I believe, 125 prestige per point. So it's going to take, like, what would that be? Um, 3,750 prestige to max it out. Let's check our prison. No one's in prison. We know about 110 plots. These people don't know that I'm a nice person that captures people and releases them. So let's, uh, let's tell her to stop it. Now, hopefully everybody experienced that. Yep, good, good, good. And I do, again, this is just, I don't want Enigma Toad to die. A second ago, I did this for our two-year-old who got murdered by me. It's just terrible. I, act, I, have, I have a two-year-old, a real-life two-year-old. She'll be turning three in weeks. I would never hurt her, but I will gladly murder a son if it gives me an empire in the game. I've never been posed with a proposition to murder my son or daughter for a real empire in the real world. That'd be a very weird proposition. I can't imagine that actually happening. We'll give you an empire if you kill your own son. That'd be weird. Okay, so no plots against me. We've got the release prisoner bonus. You fabricate all kinds of evidence and stuff. Not going to worry about that yet. Currently married to the princess of the Holy Roman Empire. We need to get... Uh, we already have some kids. Perfect. So next up will be claim on that. We'll consolidate that one into our realm. That'll be a whole mess of German conversion. But we're going to have a long, long, long time to play without any opposition. Because at the base we're going at, I mean, we'll probably have most of the world wrapped up within the next 50 years. And that gives us about... I don't know, about 225 years to play where we're just converting religion and making a perfect world. Utopia. Alright, our advisors suck because he only had the Byzantine people available. Let's take that guy for that. 25 is fine. We'll take a count. That guy's fine. We need this guy. I do want to continue trying to convert our primary holdings there. Let us just build a spy network. Whatever there. We'll collect taxes. 
we will research military tech, sure, fine, whatever. And we'll find the most powerful person in our realm who likes us not at a 100. That would be this Duke of Akia. Akia. Let's go improve relations with him. We'll wrap up this excommunication war that uh, this guy declared. Oh, we're going to get the, the spam of people converting to Catholic. And, since Enigmato doesn't have any truce timers, now might be a good time to go on a Holy War rampage. With the city back under East Roman control, the Patriarchat of Jerusalem has been properly restored as one of the Episcopal sees of the Pentarchy in the bloody, the bloody, bloody, blah. Sounds good. That is something to do with Byzantine Empire. I uh, don't care. We're going to destroy it. There is only room for one empire. One true empire. Plus, the other thing I like about the imperial laws of the United Kingdom and Great Britain is that it's already set up just it's set up the way I want. It's it's proper. Um, So yeah, there's always that. No, no, don't sleep with the courtier. That's just foolish. We already have a wife. This is we're not a Muslim. I don't need to have five five women around me at all times, like that one character from that other playthrough. My brother gave birth no <laughs> He did not give birth, but he has a nephew. Or he has a son, I have a nephew. Courtier's dead. How sad. Hey, let's put myself in charge, and let's put uh, my brother, and uh, let's also see, do we have any other brothers? Yeah. This will be the brotherly war. Let's see if we can get a little bit of prestige for ourselves. Now, there's a chance we could get wounded or die, but this is just a, it's a good way to get uh, more training. Something I think is that it seems like in this mod, you're more likely to start off at a level one or two military education. Like, say, I'm level 1, uh, this brother is level 2, my other brother is level 3, and it seems like it's more focused on, like, upgrading through combat. So, I like to, I like to put myself into combat. Give me a chance to improve my, my martial ability, even if it's just against rebels. Teleport over here now, because we had teleportation devices back then. Looks like overall the realm is actually very stable, considering we just merged two empires. The short reign penalty will be gone fairly quickly. I'm going to have to continue to try to convert and consolidate stuff. We're rapidly gaining prestige, 27 per month, so about 300 per year. Apparently I've become a Sir. thought I already was one. Okay, some more conversion. That's always good. What do you want now? Excellent. We actually have some land over here in Italy. It's always nice. Let's get rid of all this. Stand these guys down. That is apparently a retinue of English archers. Now we can stand that down. Screw that tiny little army. Stand them down. And let's see, do we have any other armies? Nope, that's it. They're all stood down. Okay, great. So now, I think, is going to be a time for us to, to get up our piety and prestige and also satisfy our ambition to increase the size of our domain by 
going on a war front. Let's go conquer or conquer some stuff. Let's see, you have no person above you, so you are an ideal war target. We'll take that county from you. You cannot be declared upon. You must have someone above you. We'll do a du jour claim. Sure, why not? Declare war on behalf of a vassal. Sure. You. Yeah, I want all of that stuff. Sure, sounds good. You. Ooh, these are such tiny little things. Oh well. I think I'd rather take that one, just so that it's consolidated. And I am going to try this again. <laughs> just not quite as far in as I went last time. Maybe... Maybe this far. And can we attack the king again? The king, of, king of whatever it was? Apparently I already am. I already did attack him. Or no, I'm not. Weird. I am, but I'm not. Oh, and I've got de jure claims on single counties because they're part of the empire of great, of uh, whatever it's called, Byzantium. I'm not going to worry about that guy right now. This guy, though, why are you not underneath somebody? Okay, almost good. I think we'll do just a couple more here. Let's just check these out. Okay, that should be enough. Let's raise the monstrous army that we have here and immediately start sending these troops down this way. You guys can just hang out there. I want to make sure that we do not neglect this side. These two guys. So you guys can go to here. And then I'll have them sit, continue to head south. This nice fat stack can go there. These guys can go there. You guys head over there. You are my direct vassal. Why aren't you a part of a kingdom? I cannot create the Kingdom of Finland. That means that I'm going to nest you underneath this guy. That was the... What was he? The Duke of where now? What? Duke of Norland. Duke of Norland. What is going on with this? Why is... Are you attacking somebody other than him right now? Why can I not do it? I don't know. It's weird. I think... I don't know. Maybe it's having the extra empire. Something's messing up. I don't like it. Okay, so all you guys can just pile onto there. It's fine. And all you guys can pile onto there. And you guys... Half of you can head over to, say, there. And then as far as all this mess, let's just get rid of all this. I'm not going to deal with the English armies right now. We'll hold them in reserve. All right, let us begin the invasion. How about you go there? And you go there. Mm. 
Oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna change my mind. You guys go here first, and then we'll send him south. And how many men are actually gonna merge at once? Three thousand. That should be enough. We should all arrive at roughly about the same time, close enough that it'll be fine. Caring for the sick and infirm is one of the duties of a charity. There are people in our court that need our help. Do I want to become humble? Well, obviously. People like humble. Excellent. <laughs> Come on, men. Get there quickly. My sister came of legal age. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I needed to uh, to do something. This character doesn't have him. Shoot, 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 shoot. I've completely forgotten. My, my previous character had a person of special interest that I was trying to marry. I think it was my... Did I already do it? No, it was this brother. It was Alex Rack. I, need, I was trying to marry Alex Rack to... Some claimant to, I think, was it Sweden or Norway? I don't even remember. Let me let me see if I can find it here. There was some woman. Couldn't have been this one. She's this, they're too old. Maybe it was Norway. All right, I'm, I'm going to have to use this, I think. This is a screen I'm not very familiar with. I don't usually like to use it. Because it's annoying. Because it doesn't really let you sort by the... Uh, it doesn't let you sort the way that I'd like. I wish you could see clearly the, the tier of the title. I thought we had somebody who had a claim on... I know we already invited her to court. There, Kingdom of Sweden. Alf. <laughs> the lovely name. Oh, God. I'm crazy. I've already done this. Didn't I? I don't... Uh. I give up. Let's just find him a, a wife the regular way then. Oh, was it Poland? Maybe it was Poland. I should really just check the previous video. I don't remember. Hungary? Tell me! Okay, you would accept an invitation to my court. Are you married? You're not. Okay, come to court. You can have my my recent daughter, my recent sister. Well, rather, my sister can have you. Ugh, losing that prestige is painful, but whatever. Prestige is something that comes and goes. Kind of. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here, and then in the next one we will press our, our wars, get all that prestige back, and then look to destroy the Byzantine Empire. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.